Okay, this is Velma. That's what they called her. So I imagine you can change her name. Velma, sit. Good girl. And she used to be a fish out of water just two days ago, meaning on a leash she's just jumping everywhere, not listening, not looking at me. So the fact that she's now doing this is really great. Sorry I have a cold. I'll try not to sniffle and cough. But, but I've just been coming out here every day working with her on this. And letting her know that she needs to be right next to me as we walk. Mama. And she's already starting to look back at me, making sure things are okay, which is something I really look for when I'm training a dog. And so then I'll go a little bit faster, walk, and then I'll slow down. And she needs to slow down with me. See a little bit right there, she, she wasn't listening to my body. And if I stop, she needs to sit. Good girl. Sorry, she is muddy. It is a muddy mess here. It's a farm. Good girl, Mama. She's very, very sweet. And she's a smaller Bernadoodle, which is what a lot of people look for. Most people, anyways. Oops. Sorry, this video isn't that great, but. So I've just been working on sit and leash training. And when I come and get her, because she gets really excited when you come and get her, so she needs to sit and wait for me to put the leash on. And I haven't been using a lot of Thelma words um, with her because I've noticed the words get her excited. Talking to her gets her excited. So, I've just been using my body and my energy and the sense to remind her that she needs to sit or stay. She's looking at my, her daddy. He's over there. And then the mama's over there. The black poodle. Thelma, sit. Good girl. She's really good with affection, so I would just use affection, Velma. See how she gets distracted? That's what we're working on to maintain that focus. Heel. So I just want her to follow me. I mean, we train the therapy dog, so you probably know what to do, but. Good girl. Okay, Velma, yep. Okay, we're gonna go a little faster. Good, much better that time. And then, this is our pasture right here. And I've been having to just go over water and get used to just life. And I have these big dirt clods that we were plowing in our field. And just getting her comfortable, because at first she was not comfortable at all doing this kind of stuff. And I feel this is really important because then she learns where to put her feet, how to put her feet, and what to do. So these are, I guess, just obstacles for her to understand. Good girl, Vanna. In the first day, she was just, as you can see, I'm holding my her leash with two fingers before I was this. But now I can just correct her with a little bit of, hey, Velma, get back. There was a little. So if she starts going in front of me or losing focus, I stop, regain her focus. Good girl. See how she's looking at me? That's what I'm looking for. All right, that's her. She's such a sweetie, and you know, I wish I could keep her, but I can't have 
more than six talks here, I'd be too overwhelmed. So, um, she's such a good girl and she has an amazing coat and I just groomed her. So I'm a professional groomer and I will groom her before she leaves. Give her a bath, of course. She had three fourths guard comb cut. Um, like I said, so she's been spayed and she's been up to date on all of her shots. And I'll be sending all the information with you. Um, let's see. Mama, sit. Good girl. And it's really important with her not to get excited and say, good girl, good girl, because they did that, I think. Velma, sit. And so it got her excited because her problem is when she sees someone new or is going somewhere new, she gets too excited. So I need to make sure that, you need to make sure that, you know, you, she's looking at you and paying attention to you before you go greet that person or go out that door. Velma, sit. Good girl. Alright, that's her. Goodbye. <laughs>